When you're in Explandio 1 or 2, you'll have an import button here. You're going to click on it and make sure you go to Slide Pack Path. Go to Browse and you're going to look on your computer for the file you downloaded called MHD underscore transparent text dot zip. Do not unzip this folder. Just click on it or double click on it and you'll see the path here and then click start import and once that's done you'll have the slides show up import complete and you're done from then on you can import the slides into your project and I'll show you in Explandio 2 how that's done because it's a little different I'll go to the end here I'll click on the plus button create new scene from here, you're going to add animation slide, add explainio slide, and you're going to navigate down until you find MHD transparent text, and you'll add the slide you want to add. And then click add single, make sure don't sketch is unchecked, and click add. Okay, you're not going to see anything on the canvas until you click close canvas and then you'll start to see the slides like you're used to in Explainio 1. However, they do not loop unless you click the loop button. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to loop them or you can just click the play button whenever you want to watch the action and see the changes that you've made. Okay, so now if you're in Explandio 1, you're going to have the slide customization area here. If you're in Explandio 2, you need to click on the slide tab and then customize this animation. Now you're going to have the same view as in Explandio 1. This is the slide customization area. You've got your text, you've got your image, your video, animation, your outline. So we'll play the preview. This is the full height text. Again, because Explandio only goes to 250 now, we can't change the font or else it'll drop to 250. So we have to play with what we're given here, which is about three or four characters. You can pause and you can change the text. and even something like while wow, won't fit because of the the width so again you've got a couple options there you can do numbers okay um, yes uh, now that looks pretty cool so again you know you've got three or four characters to play with I'll just add this and now we get to the magic of the of the slide because what you'll see is you can go to video you've got video area one which will be your background video so here we have a background video okay and then you can put anything you want in the text you can go to outline one and go to I mean the outline two area and you'll see that you can change the color of your text to whatever color you like. You can also go to image and go to image area 1 and you can add in uh, well we can try this one just to give you an idea you've got your text but you'll notice you still have the background video playing Okay. You can also go and put a different video inside of the text. So this is what makes these slides what I like to call power slides because they're designed in a way to do things that you can't do without using these slides. So now you'll see we have one video in the background and another video inside of the text. So that's pretty amazing. 
In Explained EO1, you can just use the delay slide slider right in the middle here to delay the slide. What you can do in Explained EO2 is once you have what you want here, as far as content, you can click Close, and you're going to go to the SWF tab, and we know that the slide is 76 frames, and we know that the the fade-in is about one second, so that's 24 frames. So basically, anywhere after the 24th frame, I can pause it. So I'm going to go up to 25. Yeah, you know, maybe one more just to be safe, but 25 should be okay. And then you choose your delay amount here. So remember, 24 frames is a second, so if we want to do like 5 seconds, we're going to bring it up to over 100. And now if we preview what we have, you'll see that the slide will last for about 5 seconds before it fades out. Now another cool thing about this, I'm going to go back into the slide edit area, is you can put the same video inside of the text as what's in, in the background. And it'll give you a cool transparent effect. So let's see what that looks like. You'll see how the front text is still legible, but the same video is now playing in the background and inside of the text. So that gives you a really cool effect. Uh, I'm going to go on, show you what we have here. We have one line large text. So again, you click on slide, customize the animation, and uh, you can change the text. Okay, so you have these options. You can throw an image behind the text. And then for the outline, you can change the color of the background to something that's more appropriate. So again, here you have a really cool effect. And then, of course, we have the video options, which will allow you to have an image inside the text and a video in the background. Move on to another slide. This one is one line small. So now finally I should be able to type my wow text. And just for effect we're going to go in and put the same video in the background and in the foreground. So in the background and inside of the text, I'm going to put the same video and show you that effect. Okay, so that's a really neat effect. It's that transparent look again. Um, and then the craziness of adding a different video in the text and having a different video in the background. So here we have clouds and fire playing at the same time. It's a really great effect. Um, and you know, the more videos you have to play with, the more options, the more creative you can get here. But this is just showing you the possibilities. And then remember, you can just go and change your text right there. Okay, so that's really how easy it is to use these slides. Um, and I'm just going to go through quickly. We have one line small with a zoom in. Okay, that's a great effect, even as it is now without using any video or images in the background. But so if I add that same image in the background as we did before, see that we now have this cool zoom in effect 
and the background image is not full size so what I should do is scale it a bit so that we have a more realistic background image look okay so now if we play the slide the zoom is going to be correct so you'll see this in a lot of commercials, a lot of movie trailer kind of stuff. It's a really nice effect. Very easy to do. And then again, you can change that color in the background. Okay, you've got that zoom in. You've got the same thing here with the zoom out. Okay, and then we have one line. Uh, these are the two lines. And now the crazy thing here is that you can have a different video playing in both lines of text so not only can you change the color of each text separately you can also throw in a different video for each line of text so I'll throw fire in the top and I'll throw the clouds in the bottom. Okay, so do you need to do this? No, but you can. You have the power to use three videos because you can also load in a background video in, in video area one. I'll just do that quickly. Okay. So now we've got three videos going at once. One here, one here, and one inside of the background video. So I'm going to continue on. We have some animated slides as well. So this does the same as the last one, but it comes in from the left and right. The next one will bounce a little at the end. So right at the end when it enters, you'll see it bounce right here. Okay, and we have top bottom coming in, and we have a top bottom bounce, and then we have a three line slide. Now this one is just set for two areas, uh, so a video in the text and a video in the background, or image in the text, background color. So you'll see here when I customize the three line, um, when I change the color it'll change all three lines, and I have the background here change as well. A few last things. In Explainedio 2 there are different uh, settings that are related to the slide that are outside of the customize area that we went over. Once you close out when you're done customizing you'll see that you have the action before and action after in the scene. What this does now, this action duration it's going to fade in this slide even though I may not want it it's going to fade in at the top and then fade in again because my slide fades in when you're using Explainedio slides for the most part you're going to want to just turn that off action duration is going to be nothing but so what you can do is select nothing here and down to one frame which will basically equal nothing. So show action, nothing, action duration all the way down to one. Okay, then when you go back to the slide and customize this animation, if you don't want the fade in and fade out that we built in, just go to the bottom most outline area and uncheck it. Okay, now when you preview the slide, there is no fade in and fade out. So it's always the bottom most outline area. In another slide it might be outline area 4. So here we would turn that off. There's no fade in and fade out. And then when I'm back in the main settings for explain view, I can go to action before, nothing, and then action duration one frame. And so when you preview it, you now have no fade in or fade out. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at myherodesign.com and we'll help you out very, very quickly. Thank you as always for watching.